Right. Good morning. Good after. Well, no, it's morning. Happy New Year. It's now 2018. So this would be the first information that I've transmitted via the internet or camera. It doesn't matter. I woke up a little late. I did not go out last night. Ernie and the girls went out. Uh, I don't really do New Year's out celebrations. I just don't like it. I don't really think, uh, I don't know. I just don't really think that you need a date and time to decide to change your life. I think if you want to make a resolution, you can make it literally any second of any day. I do understand like going to party and having fun, but um, to me, it's not the best way to start my year. Like hungover and tired. Uh, yeah, I didn't go out, but if you went out, I hope you had a good time and have a great New Year start. So, but speaking of the beginning of New Year's, I woke up, my man Dirty Earn was live on Instagram, and he was just sitting back and relaxing, and he's like, oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I'm not really sure. And I had to remind him what day it is. He has shoes at his house that are mine, so I'm waiting on Ernie. It will be a pretty low-key day. It's New Year's Day, not much really goes on, I don't think. What do people even do on New Year's Day? Are there like sales? What happens? I don't know. My house is a wreck, so maybe I'll start doing that. Now it's working. All right, camera turned off again. Jesus. Yeah, do people normally give people off? Really? I don't know. Maybe it's not. I mean, Brandy's working. We yeah. in there shipping your shit. Um, um, but the post office is closed. Banks are closed. Yeah, it's a holiday in a sense. Well, we can do a shoe. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you just brought these. I wore my AIs out last night. Oh, this is cool. You did these? I don't think so. Um, let's roll a blunt. Yeah. What is this? Yesterday I did. I like I just started opening this. Yeah. So yesterday I wanted to make toast, and I like, realized I didn't have a toaster oven, which I've bought like five toaster ovens. They just must have gone to like girlfriends over the years or whatever. Yeah. So I bought a toaster oven yesterday. Official looking toaster. You know how much this was? I had it delivered. Probably three hundred. I had it delivered. By Amazon Prime now. Sixty three dollars. Are you kidding me? I'm not. It's a 12 inch pizza. It's brand name too, Black and Dick. Dude, pizza. hell, maybe we go bowling after this. What do you say? Uh, I fry you up a pizza real quick and then we take down to the bowling alley. What you think? Let's do it. <laughs> you thought it was $300. I don't know. It looks like like you get a decent one for 100 and then this thing looks legit. It's got all these settings. It says it fits its. Look at this. You don't even need a real oven at this point. Get two of these bad boys. Call them downstairs. Like, hey, could y'all come get the oven? <laughs> we don't really need it. Yeah, dude, my kitchen looks like a fucking bomb went off in it. Okay, we'll blur it out. <laughs> we'll blur it all out. God, Teddy, you, leave your house. I don't think it's quite as nice as you think it is. Yeah, I don't know about that 12. Yeah, I guess so, though. It's deep. <laughs> deep. Screen unboxing. This is a fucking cool screen screen. I just look at that. Look at this. That's it. That's it. It's done. A symbol. Wait, done. it's falling. Okay. Um, Probably something else you gotta do. It's like a pretty wait. steady base. Like underneath it, there's these big feet, so that's why it's kind of weird. But let me look. I don't think there really is instructions though. And the green screen. Let's those, see. Do those rotate out? <laughs> I didn't have it on camera, but I think I had your face. I just turned it. <laughs> That's it. One more again. Yeah. Nice. You're Computer. rolling up on human races. Hey, dead style human races. We gotta roll up. We gotta roll up on something. What's that? <laughs> I can't even. Hey, what you got? Oh, somebody. Sunburst on top, little sunburst on bottom. I rolled up where you roll up, son. It was New Year's Eve. There's a joint in here somewhere, too. I lost it last night while I was live streaming. Nice. Oh! oh hey. Whoa! Green screen broken. <laughs> we, we get two of these. Yeah. And corner it. Like, we get a corner right here. Choop! Should yeah. be ill, son. Yeah. We yeah. live our whole lives in a green screen. Walk through the airport. And then we'll green get, screen. yeah, we'll get on the plane. We'll go to Paris. It'll, it'll all be green screen. Let me out! Let me out of here! Ah! Hey, fuck faces. Yeah, go ahead, don't worry. Hook them up. Is there a sign for that? Nope. Why, are you ready to roll? Re oh, he's ready! Dude! Hey! Roll me the 
walk me in, homie. To the weed shop. To the weed shop. On the first day of the new year. Yep, as long as they're open. That's pretty much all we're doing today. Come back. Oh, we got an emergency situation here. Yep. What's this guy doing? Too fast. He's out of breath. What is that, man? We got oh, fire trucks. Ooh, a little fender bender. Fender I don't know if fender we, on the old corner. I don't know if we need a fire truck for that one, but I think it's protocol. Yeah, and CBS 4 News is here. It's oh, really the news. Slow day on the first accident of... Yeah. We'll get you just like something to hold as a microphone. I'm like, sir, is that a lighter? <laughs> no, get away from me, Carol. Reporting live, first accident from 2018. We're here at... Uh, what robes are those? Look at this guy. Uh, Under fender bender looking about $2,100 of damage on the Taurus. We have a newer model Nissan here. It's probably going to be about $3,700, but uh, maybe not newsworthy, so we're out. <laughs> yeah. I think we spend a lot of money on weed. Like <laughs> sure, most people go pick up a couple of... Like they get a $20 eighth and they're set for the week. Yeah, I don't know about the week. But... That's my morning wake and bake. Probably about a gram and a half. Mm. You don't roll no fucking 1.5. Shut the fuck up. What do you think it is? You ain't ever rolled a goddamn gram and a half in your here. life. That's you bullshit. smoke Chico sticks, dog. A little no, fucking no. straight gorilla knuckles. Like, brah. <laughs> Motherfuckers are like, yeah, bitch. What's up? Is that a hand? No, that's a blunt. Motherfucker. I'll take three to the face. Boom, boom, boom. I'm out here. I'm coasting. <laughs> Nah, duck. Yeah. Can you someone. look up a scale on the iPhone? Doesn't have one. Not it probably could. It does, doesn't it? With the new touch thing? I Am I tripping? Know. You might be right. I think I'm wrong. Drake Real Estate. Ooh. Put your girl in a crib. You're a real estate agent, Drake. Oh yeah. <clears throat> what are we doing right now? We're trying to find your weed card. Hmm. Why didn't we just print a weed card out of my house? Because it was in your ski boot. No, 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 no. We didn't print out a weed card at my house because you assured me it was in the car in the ski boot. And then I said, when did you see it exactly in the ski boot once you couldn't find it? And you said, in the mountains. Yeah. The ski boot has been in three different cars since then. Well, now we're going to find it in the uh, phone. The only problem is sometimes the PDF doesn't come up the right way. So we're about to know in a minute if that's going to work. And... Do, 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 do. Waiting at the wee shop. A couple of scrubs in the parking lot. We are waiting on our mom to come out. Grocery store. Mom, do you get free roll-ups? We're seconds away from knowing if this is even going to work. No. It doesn't work? Look what it fucking does and only in the phone. These things are going to get me weak because I'm a fucking child all of a sudden. Whoa. Also, if, uh, if you didn't know, last night at midnight, I dropped Mercy of the Light Volume 2. Oh, that one buds. Oh, it's on the floor. No. Yeah. More board and shit. Oh, you ain't getting it. You ain't getting my little weed, no, sir. Like Damn, that. you can smell this patchouli from here. Is that you? You smell like patchouli now. They yeah, got patchouli I burning had, in there? Yeah, they had something in the waiting room when I walked. Oh, smell like you just got back from a fucking music festival. <laughs> really do. Not a oh good music God. festival either. Oh. Yeah. It is bad. It smells like you took a bath. Not my fault. <laughs> That's why I fucking didn't have my silver linings. I didn't have to yeah. go in and come out smelling like a fucking straight up. If it is good. I got osium spraying up my ass too. Do you? Yeah. Well, that's what the smell is. Are you sitting on the osium? Uh, yeah, I just was. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Seriously, it's like osium everywhere. Strong. It's not even me. It's you. I'm like, why is it supposed to look at Tigger? It's been a rough night. Yeah. Walk of shame with the fucking Tigger suit on. Is it wet? Yeah. Yeah, it's wet. <laughs> you think this is so fucking funny? 
That's <laughs> so much that you rode the whole way, you didn't sit on it, then you moved and all of a sudden. Must have, yeah, must have, like, when I got to go pick up the weed, I must have, like, oh. how much was in that can? Is it empty now? <laughs> I don't know, it was, no, it's pretty. My uh, whole backside is just, like, straight osium right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, it smells so bad in here, I have a headache. I'm still laughing about it. <laughs> you said the silver lining is that I didn't come no, out no. and smell like it. It's not permafrost. Mmm. Pillow factory. I didn't even ask for this. Because they were out of the big papa one or whatever. Then this can't be a sativa. Why? Because the big papa is a fucking indigo. Who do you think they put New it in? New York on? City diesel. Which is a hybrid. Amnesia Lemon Kush. Sativa. Yeah. So the other day when I asked you straight up, you were like, you brought Pillow Factory over here and you were like, it's a sativa. And I was like, it's called fucking Pillow Factory. And you're like, no, it's a sativa. It's an indica. I may have been wrong. Yeah, you were wrong. <laughs> Love you to death. But I was like, it's called Pillow Factory. I even said it to you. I was like, why is it called Pillow Factory? Yeah, I don't know, man. It seems like Pillow Factory would be like an indica, huh? I was like, it does. It does seem that way. Um, okay. Oh, I forgot I got this box today. I never opened it. So today we're going to look at a pair of shoes, but uh, a lot of people have been asking me about top 10 of the year and this top 10 list and top five, top six, like whatever, like end of the year lists that a lot of people do. And uh, I'm not going to do it. And I'm not going to do it because I just don't really like, even when I've made videos about like top this or top that, like it's so subjective. It's so just like what I mean it depends what you're wearing like you know what I'm saying like if I say the frozen yellow is a top shoe of the year like the frozen yellow doesn't go with everything so it's like it's not there's no way to really narrow it down and if I can narrow it down I wouldn't have a house full of shoes I wouldn't have a stack of shoes here that I haven't been able to show you yet or even wear so um, I don't have a top you know like the only thing that I could probably make a list of would be the shoes that I probably could have passed on but even still some of those like I've sold most of those I feel like I saw I got rid of some stuff I can, yeah, I just, don't, I just don't have a list, you know what I mean? Like, I'm pretty vocal about the shoes that I like when I get them. My mind doesn't change too much after the fact. You know, there's other stuff comes out that is maybe better for me or more applicable to my life. But, I don't know, man, in 2018, I kind of want to get away from better, best. Uh, you know, I can say, like, what's my favorite and stuff like that, I guess. But I don't have a favorite. You know, like, I just, I just don't. So, um, again, if I could pick favorites... I wouldn't be here. So, uh, but I did get this box, which I know what it is. It's my other pair of, you know, you know by that yellow tape. It's the Zeno. I don't want to get up and get a knife. I'm just going to rip this. Ugh. Another box. Looks in here. How many people do they open shoes like this? Cool. When you get your Xenos, it's gonna spray up like straight up spray paint. There we are with the black and white Oreo, Oreo Zeno. Nice. We got the black and whites, black laces, Zeno, Zeno. So yeah, Zeno with the white. We'll take a look at these soon. Those finally got here. If you're still waiting on yours, I would imagine they're probably on your way, on the way. So weird to see a 3.0 after all that. Um, but the shoe we're gonna talk about is not over here so the shoe we're going to talk about is the size official nmd exclusive and so this would fall into something for the year that i would talk about like this i think is one of the pairs this year i don't want to say it got slept on there's plenty well it did kind of get slept on because my size size 12 and a half uh sold out instantly like within seconds and then literally every other size just kind of sat so it wasn't a super hype shoe people didn't really like go after them but i know a lot of people came out of this year thinking the nmd was dead. I think there's been, honestly, this year had some of the better NMD releases that we've ever gotten. You know, um, the, yeah, there's just been like quite a few. I could go through the list, but you guys already know, like the Datamosh, no statics, these, some of the AI pack. I mean, there's like plenty of like really good NMD, the Ama Maniers. This is another one for me when I saw it. I didn't really bug out online because I've been kind of like secretive about what I'm bugging out about. But Solar Orange colorway, NMD, super clean can't really go wrong so uh super hyped that i got these 
Definitely one of the years, I think, more of one of my favorite pairs. And this one I can wear with a lot of stuff. All black, which I do a lot. You're not gonna be able to see the color. Like, it's not gonna translate. These are called the Orange Noise. Um, some are calling them the Invisible, whatever, whatever's. Uh, it's like that Hunter Orange that can't be seen. Uh, you know, like with camo. It's like the Hunter, the camo orange. You know what I'm talking about for the, you hunting people out there. The PKR1, so we've reviewed however many there are of this. I just like solar colorways and we don't have a literally, there's literally no other solar NMD. So to get a solar orange NMD, thumbs up in my book. Yeah, so all solar orange upper. There is literally nothing peppered in at all. Not a single granule of pepper, it's one color. Stripes are the same exact color. You almost can't even see them on the shoe. Um, everything is just solar orange. There's a little black ribbing around the collar. Black laces, black lace set, sole, and no insole, of course. So, you know, don't be going crazy. Uh, you can size down, obviously. It's regular PKMD, 12 and a half, biggest they made. They're fine, I wear them all the time. I love them. NMDs are not dead. People just have issues. They sold out now, they're not available. You can still get them resell. I haven't checked it in a while. Um, I don't know where my phone is, but the day that, uh, there was some really high resale in my price for a while, like $1,200, $1,500, but I'm pretty sure it all dropped down to like 200, 230, something like that. So you can still get them, but I would say this is probably one of the releases of the year that just kind of flew under the radar. You know, um, a lot of stuff came out at once. We got a lot more shoes this year, which is big, and I think that's got a lot to do with people's perception of Adidas and just like Boost being dead and their idea to just consume and consume and then move on to the next thing. Um, I just don't relate to that. I just wear Boost because I like the way it feels. It's just a whole different thing to me. So um, yeah, but now there's just way more options. We have a ton of stuff that happened this year. I mean, if you've rewind to the last year of the amount of Boost models, just like scrolling through StockX, it used to be like one page. So uh, yeah, things have happened. Things have grown. There's a lot of shoes coming out next year so uh, we'll see where it all goes but that's what I got for you today happy new year everybody today's been pretty mellow I'm sure the evening will be mellow I'm gonna try and clean my house because it looks like a bomb went off I know you guys love it when I talk about how I'm gonna clean my house every day but it's true I gotta do it so all right I'm out love y'all almost forgot King Kong shirts are gonna restock on Sunday. Yeah, King Kong from New York City Convention. We're doing t-shirts, long sleeves, and hoodies will stock for the first time ever. So that'll be available Sunday, 10 a.m. as normal. And yeah, so get ready for that, King Kong. Everything that was the uh, the skulls that restocked last week, I'm pretty sure are all sold out. There might be some t-shirts left in random sizes, but cool. That's it, all right, I'm out. See you tomorrow, peace.
like into outer space. There it is.